Hey, my name is Will Price. I'm a WizKids employee. I'm one of the guys who makes sure that Heroclix gets out every time we have a release. Uh, I'm here with Brett from, uh, what was the name of your site again? Graphic Policy. GraphicPolicy.com. And we're going to talk to you a bit about our digital sculpting process, which is a new way we've started to make our figures. It's a much, well, I wouldn't say higher quality because a lot of our, our hand sculpted figures are really, really great. Um, but it's just a newer way of doing things that allows us to get the stuff out a little bit faster. So if you want to look down here, I'll show you some of the figures that we've done recently that have been done through digital sculpting. Um, here are two figures from our Blackest Night starter. It's Scarecrow and Wonder Woman done up as uh, the two lanterns from that comic series. You can see that through the digital sculpting, we can really get a lot more fine detail here if you zoom in on, on the crows from Scarecrow. Um, it also lets us do those clear effects that are really popular more easily. Uh, here's a super rare from our new set, Web of Spider-Man. This is Cosmic Spider-Man. This was done digitally. And again, just very nicely detailed, awesome effects on that. And uh, just to give you a preview, or I guess an inside look at how we do it, so our sculptors design these on computers, and then we output what we call blues. So we have a, a company that does 3D printing for us, and they have a very, very, very high fidelity printer. So here's a figure from an upcoming set, DC 75th anniversary. This is a Batman, and this is a blue from that set. So this is actually done on a 3D printer, and then we use this to make sure that the sculpt, you know, stays true to how it looked on the computer. And eventually, you know, when we get it right, we'll actually use that to create the mold, which will become that'll be used to make the final figures when we do the booster set.